Dornisha jogged at least 2.3 more miles than Holden at the gym. Let D equal the number of miles Dornisha jogged. Let H equal the number of miles Holden jogged. Write an inequality to represent this scenario. So because Dornisha jogged at least 2.3 more miles than Holden, she could have jogged exactly 2.3 more miles than Holden or more than 2.3 more miles than Holden. And therefore the inequality is going to be D, the number of miles Dornisha jogged, is greater than or equal to H, the number of miles Holden jogged, plus 2.3. However many miles Holden jogged, Dornisha jogged at least 2.3 more miles. Now for the second part of the question, suppose Dornisha jogged 8.4 miles. Use this information to answer the question below. So we're told that D, the number of miles that Dornisha jogged, equals 8.4 miles. Let's substitute 8.4 for D into the inequality. This gives us 8.4 is greater than or equal to H plus 2.3. Now we could probably answer these last two questions with the inequality in this form, but let's go ahead and solve it for H. To solve this inequality for H, we need to undo this addition by performing the opposite operation. And therefore, to undo plus 2.3, we would subtract 2.3 on both sides of the inequality. Just like we solve an equation. On the left side, 8.4 minus 2.3 is 6.1. We have 6.1 is greater than or equal to. On the right side, 2.3 minus 2.3 is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted 2.3 on both sides. We now just have h on the right. Let's write the equivalent to inequality using the less than or equal to inequality symbol. We reverse the order of this inequality and write this as h is less than or equal to 6.1. Notice for both inequalities, the inequality points toward the h and is open toward the 6.1. Let's use this inequality to answer the last two questions. Enter any value of h that will make the inequality true. As long as h is less than or equal to 6.1, the inequality is true. So for example, if h equals five, the inequality is true because if we substitute five for h, we have five is less than or equal to 6.1, which is true. And then finally, enter any value of h that will make the inequality false. The inequality is false when h is not less than or equal to 6.1, which means h would be greater than 6.1. For example, let's say h equals seven. h equals seven makes the inequality false because seven is not less than or equal to 6.1. I hope you found this helpful.